Well, with the 150 Ways to Reduce Your Carbon Footprint project, um, we had all of our students create a poster card with a way to reduce their carbon footprint. And they were either uh, writing it out with some visuals, drawing a picture, and we collected these. Now we collected over 300 of these cards and we selected 150 of them to display in September as a way to welcome our students back to school for the current school year. The project was completed in April after our Earth Day assembly where it was presented. We bought a number of these little recycle centers just to tidy things up a little bit and you know it helps make it attractive to properly recycle. So. My name is Gareth Reed and I'm the director here at Turnbull School. I've been at Turnbull for 20 years now and uh, We've always had a focus on environmental issues and on what we can do to help reduce our carbon footprint at the school. Um, we went around with clipboards and pencils looking at the different offices and classrooms in our school. We looked at the garbages and the lights to make sure their classrooms were environmental friendly and then we would rate their classrooms and at the end of when the environmental thing was done on Earth Day, at the assembly they would announce the winner of who got the most points for the year that we did. The winner got a certificate and they, if it was a principal, they got to have bragging rights. Well, we've had uh, some guest speakers over the years. Uh, one of the most famous ones was Rafi, who came and sang with our students and presented uh, us with our green schools emerald status um, um, plaque. Well, the Green Schools program was a project-based program um, put out by the Seeds Foundation uh, several years ago, and we would work at different projects, individual class, uh, individual projects, class projects that had an environmental theme. Um, once we hit uh, 250, we hit a jade status, and then we hit the emerald status, which the emerald status, which was. 500 projects. Um, uh, basically it was a real focused way for us to look at the environment and what students could do, what classes could do to, uh, to bring it to their groups and to be real about it. So I found it was really fun to do the cards. I really love looking at all of my other friends' ideas to reduce our carbon footprint. And I really enjoyed when I went through the halls to see all those beautiful pictures up in the hallway. In order to reduce our carbon footprint, the school has initiated a boomerang lunch program where we require the students to bring reusable containers for their lunches. Uh, we would prefer they did not bring juice boxes and that they also bring home uh, any co composable waste, i.e. their banana peels, orange peels, sandwich crusts, etc. bring them home and compost them at home. Um, so our garbage cans are not filling up with uh, plastic and other waste from lunch. Um, they're going home and being recycled and uh, taken care of properly. Uh, that's been a very successful program um, and it also helps teach the children about ways to create better lunches and, and how to uh, deal with packaging. Um, we also do a simple program uh, called the Turnbull Turnaround, which uh, parents have purchased gym uniforms, the school golf shirts, and when their children outgrow them or they've graduated, they often donate these uh, uh, pieces of clothing back to the school, and parents can come and select a used, gently used uh, piece of clothing. Uh, students sometimes forget their clothing, for gym or for a special event for the golf shirt, and they can come and get a, a, a t-shirt. So we're cutting down on just the consumerism of purchasing more and more clothing. Well, I find it's important that people reduce their carbon footprint so that next, like the people in the next generation are also able to have like the same world or maybe even cleaner. And then they could do the same and then the world will be very, very clean for everyone else to live in. Like some things that I would do is start biking, biking to school more and then other people might see me doing it and they might say, oh, that's a great idea and they might do it too. Um, 
the big project that we've done recently over the last couple of years has changed the lighting in our school. We moved away from traditional uh, fluorescent lighting, etc., to CFL and LED lighting. So our first phase was changing the lighting in our gymnasium from very uh, large 400 watt bulbs to 240 watt bulbs, which is a major reduction in the, the wattage being used. In fact, nearly 4,000 watts uh, of reduction in, in the draw of power uh, right away from changing those lights. They're also much more efficient and they're much uh, user friendly in the sense that they do not take 10 minutes to warm up and cool down, that they're instant on, instant off. So they're very functional. Prior to that, we found that our lighting in our hallways were a little bit dim and we were looking into ways to improve that. Well, we uh, found a way to improve it was by changing the bulbs to LED and right away the luminescent went way up, brightened the hallways, but also cut down on the uh, wattage. Uh, we changed our exterior lighting in the same fashion and then the second phase to this project was changing all of the classroom lighting, which was fluorescent lighting. Over 800 units uh, were changed last summer, and we've noticed a 17,000 uh, watt reduction in power usage. So some very significant changes in our power usage, but an improvement in the overall lighting. Um, so we're very happy, and uh, it's going extremely well, and we're seeing you know, that reflected in our hydro bills monthly and we also um, were able to take advantage of um, the rebate programs for doing these energy conversions from Hydro Ottawa. So the exit signs and the find your way signs that would be lit 24 hours a day are now uh, luminescent signs that uh, absorb energy and are very visible during daylight and then in the evenings when it gets dark they reflect out the light that they've uh, absorbed during the or the energy they've absorbed during the day. So during our Earth Day assembly, we, our guest speaker, uh, suggested that our students take part in the 150 ways to reduce their carbon footprint. Um, so the students went off and thought about ways that they could make a difference in their own lives and came back and created these lovely cards that had a diagram and a, a statement of how to reduce their carbon footprint. To reduce my carbon footprint, I'm going to not litter and pick up other people's trash I see on the street. An idea to reduce my, car my carbon footprint is to carpool or take a bus. My idea to reduce my carbon footprint is to use rechargeable batteries, to use reusable cups, and to use reusable bags. And you can do it too. Okay.